Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no sit down and film a haul video. So now it's spring, I feel like it's just acceptable to do loads of hauls again because I just feel like every single season, I don't exactly need a new wardrobe, I think that's a little bit dramatic, but I would love a new wardrobe, do you know what I mean? And there's always something new that I need. So I'm gonna go through a little haul. I've got lots of bags. I've got one, two, three, four, and five little bags so this started off not with the intention of doing a haul just the intention of i'm going away this weekend for my boyfriend's birthday i need a cute little outfit for like shopping i need a new jacket that's cute i'll get that then boohoo got me with a sponsored instagram post when they just come up and you think oh that's nice so yeah, now we're here so i'm gonna go through everything i've got you probably would have noticed that i've opened every bag but that's because i went out shopping the other day and i wanted to wear one of the outfits so Let's stop rambling and let's start. I'm just going to go with the first bag that's on the top. I did wear this in my most recent Instagram post and I've just folded it up and put it back in the bag. <laughs> this is a little straight leg ribbed grey, obviously. Little jumpsuit thing. Like I said, I've already worn this. It was really comfortable and it's quite a thick material, but not too thick to the point where you're going to be sweating. Do you know what I mean? It's just thick where you're not going to be able to see through it. I feel nice and secure. Did get this in a size 10 and it was quite loose around my waist and stuff, which was obviously really comfortable. But this was just a really, really comfortable, cute, easy outfit as well. You just put a little denim jacket, a leather jacket, a trench coat, anything. And we literally could just wear it on its own. And obviously dressed up with like a cute little bag, some jewellery. But yeah, this was a really nice staple. They do it in a lot of different colours as well. I'm sure they do it in like a beige and in black as well. So I feel like... I should just get another one already. Next thing I've got from Boohoo is this cream little bomber. I just needed more jackets. I'm gonna say that again, because I've got, I think I've got two jackets all together in this haul, but I just never seem to have any. I've got leather jackets, but then I always think if I wear a pair of leather trousers, what jacket can I wear? Do you know what I mean? So I just thought a little cream one just brightens up the outfit, nice little neutrals vibe. It isn't mega, mega thick, um, but it has got like double lining. So I feel like this would be good, especially when it starts to get warmer and you just need something nice on your arms. We might as well go into Zyra because I've only got one thing from there. Why is it so hard? Oh my God. I hope we don't need to send this back. I'm literally just trashing the place. I need to calm down. So, if you can tell, I've got a new pair of jeans. Spoiler, I did actually get these earlier on in the week in a size 10, which is my regular size, and I could not even button them up. Not even a little bit. So I've had to size up and get a 12, which is fine because different shops, different sizes, all that business, who cares as long as it fits. But I've got these straight leg blue jeans. I really, really like the wash of these. I like that they're not mega light, um, but obviously they've got the different like tone, but if you can see, it looks a little bit more worn in certain areas. And I do think that Zara jeans come quite long on me, to be honest, I'm five foot four. But what I normally do is I've got a pair of fabric scissors upstairs. I'll try them on and I do still like them to kind of touch the floor, but I don't want them dragging all over the floor because you know they get dirty and they just start rolling up and stuff. And then we put a pair of trainers on and then I'll just mark it to where it sits on the floor and then I just cut across because this is how they've came and look, they're just like that distressed look anyway. So if I just cut them and then just pull the edges and fray it a little bit, you're literally not going to be able to tell the difference. So hopefully these actually fit me because I'm going to Manchester tomorrow and I would like to wear them. So moving on to PLT, I've got this grey maxi skirt. This is really nice. Again, it's that material where it's not mega thick where you're going to be sweating, but it's not see-through at all. It's got like very slight fleecy bits. The material will probably be too thick for summer. But I have saw a few girls wearing this with like just like a little crop top, a t-shirt, whatever, and like layering it with a trench, a leather jacket, a denim jacket, whatever. And I feel like it's just a really nice like wardrobe staple. My friend Laura has worn something like this a few times and I feel like it just really looks nice on it. And I've never purchased a skirt like this myself. So I thought now is the time. I just want cute spring outfits where I'm not just wearing jeans and a crop top all the time. Do you know what I mean? And again, that does come in different colours as well. I got a size eight in that because I didn't have a size 10 online. So let's see if it fits. I've got a few things in this parcel. So like I said earlier, I don't just want to keep wearing jeans all the time. So I found these trousers that I did see a girl on my Instagram wearing a very similar pair, but I'm pretty sure that hers had like little stripes on just this section. And her trousers were from Pull and Bear, but I saw these on PLT, just some black, straight leg trousers with obviously the different color like banding around the waist the kind of they are like trousers but still very comfortable light loose white material and they have got pockets 
which is a bonus. So I thought these would be cute. Obviously, you could dress them up if you wanted to, but the, I would say they're more like, I'd probably wear them in more like a casual way. But again, just makes you look a little bit more put together rather than just wearing a pair of jeans. The next thing I've got is a very plain, basic item. It's just a white crop top. So I got this idea from Madison Sarah in a New York vlog where she wore a little t-shirt like this and she put a corset over the top. So I did have a few t-shirts like this from MDV, um, Manier Divor, don't know how to pronounce the name properly, but they were like, it was like built in, like it was stitched on like this and that was just the t-shirt. When I first brought them, obviously they fit me, but now they're too small for me and I'm pretty sure they don't sell them anymore. But I really love those tops. I thought I'm going to try and do it myself. It might irritate me having the top on and then this over the top, might be like if the top's moving and stuff underneath, but we will see. And then on the same vibe, I got this top, which I'm sure this was like three or four pounds as well. And I just thought for one, it's nice on its own so good like if i'm having like a last minute night out or going somewhere where i don't really want to buy a new outfit i can just throw this on like three pounds with a pair of leather trousers easy peasy i feel like that color is really nice you can't i know you can't really see you'll obviously see when i try everything on next from plt we have got this really cute leather jacket and it's a really really nice like oversized faux leather jacket i love the color of it i mean it looks like it's like texture like different colors going through it's a nice slouchy oversized jacket so i did get this in the size down i did get this in size eight but yeah i just thought with it being oversized i didn't want it to be too massively big and then finally i got myself a little trench which looks a bit tragic so i'm not doing a much justice but it's just a regular like really light sage khaki green whatever color you want to call it laura has one of these from zara slightly different color but still that really really pale green color and i literally loved it and i just thought i'd order myself one literally like 30 odd pounds i'm sure laura zara one was a lot more expensive than that probably better quality but you know looks the same to me so yeah i feel like i could literally wear what i'm wearing now which is a pair of black leggings and a white t-shirt and put a little trench on a bag, a pair of sunglasses on your head. You just look so put together. So anyway, let's go and try it all on. So here are the jeans. I feel like the camera's really wonky. It's not really a sleigh, is it? But like I said earlier, they're always just a bit too long for me. I don't know if these are actually longer than the size 10 ones. I don't really know. But again, I'm just going to cut them. I really like how the feet. I've already said all of this, but I really like the colour of them. I like the feet. I'm just going to chop the little ends off and they are quite a comfy pair to be honest i might as well just try the jackets on while we're here rather than getting changed a hundred times so obviously this is the trench she's so cute a little tip as well if you want to make your trenches like a little bit more narrow a little bit more fitting rather than just looking really big and boxy i just pull the strings at the back let's ignore my hair i'm literally gonna go and wash it after this but you just tie it in a little bow at the back and it just kind of cinches you in a little bit. Obviously, you still want it a little bit like loose and oversized, but I just feel like it kind of, it just adds a little bit of shape to the outfit. Obviously, you put a nice little bag over. How long the trench is. That's my TV looking like a little mirror. Multi-purpose queen. I don't know if you can really see, but obviously it's quite a long jacket. And even this, it's just a plain, simple outfit. But I feel like just a little pop of colour just looks... It's like I put more effort in than what I actually have. Here's a little jacket. Like I said, I did size down in these. And as you can see, it's obviously still very oversized. I really like the fit of it though. It's super comfy. Because of it being so oversized as well, I feel like I could definitely fit a jumper underneath this. Like it's not restricting at all. So it's perfect, obviously, for like your spring, your autumn and your winter, which is perfect, obviously. And then this is the final little jacket. It's not as heavy as like, the little faux leather jacket that I just tried on. It's a lot more lightweight. It has got pockets as well, which is cute. I don't know why, baseball just reminds me of Twilight when they're all running around and jumping off the trees and stuff. But anyway, just a cute little, I don't know if I showed you earlier, but it's got like a little texture. Super cute. Okay, I think we've fallen at the first hurdle. I don't think that it's actually fits me. Why are the companies trying to like fat shame me today and telling me that I'm not actually a size 10? No, because I don't actually think that this is going to work, is it? No, it's not going to work. And it's not worth breaking. You know, use my least favourite out of the two courses anyway. Right, this one is more the vibe. She's got a nice stretchy little back. Oh, and it's hook and eye detail at the front. Didn't even realise. Look at me. This is the vibe I was going for. I know the lighting is not the same right now, but imagine this, I could put some little leather trays on. I could just wear jeans like this actually, to be honest, like, as you can literally see me right now. Pair of heels, 
cute little bag. Laura's got a bag that would match this top so well. It's like this colour and like a rough like denim style like, material like overlapping and stuff from Zara, a little bag. Laura, I'm on my way to come and get your bag. But how cute would that be? Like that is like cute but casual. If I wore just this, it'd be a lot more dressy. Put the t-shirt on. It's giving day drinks. It's giving, I could literally go shopping like this if I wanted to. If I was a proper cool girl, I'd put some, my hair slicked back slightly better than this because I've ragged it around for the last 10 minutes trying on clothes. That would be a little vibe, like put some like real big baggy jeans on or trousers or whatever. Chunky trainers, cute little bag. Wear my sunglasses, literally never wear sunglasses, but you know. Basically just Madison Zero is what I'm describing. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is really cute. Even though it took me three to five working days to get the top on. But yeah, I'm glad you can see the vibe. Glad we got there in the end. Probably still need the size up. Moving on. Wow. So these are a size 10 and a fit me. Can we get a round of applause before I cry myself back to the gym? So five foot four, like I said earlier, I feel like these are actually like the perfect length. Maybe the teeniest, tiniest bit too long, but with a pair of trainers on, problem solved. Really, these are so like, lightweight and comfortable. Don't think I'd wear this top with it, but it took me that long to get on, we are keeping it on. I already said, but I just really like, like the contrast here. And again, they are more like a casual, comfy trouser, but I feel like these would be so cute. Shopping, these would be really nice in like a different colour, more like a spring colour rather than black. But I feel like black is such a trusty colour. Do you know what? I actually work in an office, so I could literally wear these to work. Literally, tie a little bow, make them look a little bit girlier. Put my little work, put my little work shoes on, put a little blouse top or whatever. Even just a plain long sleeve top, to be honest. A little bodysuit, whatever. Here's the little skirt. See, my vision is this with the oversized jacket. Should I just put it on while I'm here? So, I have got the Molly May khaki leather jacket that I've mentioned earlier from Zara. That'd be super cute with this, so you know, the grey, the green, the white. It's kind of like neutral vibes, really. And then I've also got the same jacket in grey, but like a darker washed grey. Um, but this, which is what I was planning on wearing originally, but this jacket's here and this jacket matches, does it not? Is this not cute? Is this not going for Sunday lunch with your grandparents' vibes? Is this not going shopping with the girls and you just want to have that cute, wholesome little outfit on that's still giving spring, ignore my black socks? But yeah, I really like this little outfit. Now I've got a little shopping outfit, I've got an excuse to go shopping, love it. So have I got anyone to zip me up? But here is a little jumpsuit, like I said, for the 3,000th time, five four. that's the length, if you wanted to know. So I've got this in my regular size, which is size 10, and as you can see, it's a little bit big, like don't get me wrong, it fits me, look, it's comfortable. So I probably could size down and get a size 8, just for it to be a little bit more like tight in this region. But to be honest, this is really, really comfortable. The material is quite stretchy as well. I could literally wear this with any of those jackets that I've tried on just. Put a few more little necklaces on, layer it up a little bit. Cute little bag, cute little crossbody bag. Easy, peasy outfit, airport outfit. Multi-purpose queen. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I probably will do a couple more spring calls, I'm not gonna lie. But if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.